So, boy, I army, mean, welcome to another video on the channel. In this one, we are looking at some tactics. Custom tactics instructions coming your way. We are looking at four, two, three, one. One of the staples of competitive FIFA over the last few years is one of the most balanced, consistent tactic formations you can use. And I'm going to go through my tactics for it, explain the reasoning behind it, tell you how I would set it up. In the future, in the next few weeks, I'm just going to start to release more formation videos, and in these I'll have gameplay. At the moment, I'm down at the Excel HQ slash office. I don't have my video software to edit and go through the gameplay, but in the future, I will get lots of gameplay. Go over it so you can see that properly and how it works with the tactics. But for this, I'll explain it, how it works, how you should play it in game, and why it is such a good tactic. <clears throat> so, we have the 4-2-3-1. You can see here it is very well spread out. The 4 2 3 1, the main strength behind it is that you've got the flat back four who are really solid. You have the two CDMs acting as a shield, defending um, deep for you, which is really nice. You can use those two CDMs to link up to the three cams. You've got the LAM, the RAM, and the central cam. So you've got five midfielders who essentially are going to help you keep the ball really well. One of the reasons the 4 2 3 one's really good on this game at the moment is that you've got four really good options for the finesse shots. <clears throat> I would say it's quite poor. In this team, I don't, because Moreau to Glory, that's a bit more limited. But on, other, um, on a better team, I would say it's quite poor to try to put a left forward on the right side, um, uh, right footer on the left, so they're cutting in on their strong foot to finesse. You'd like a five-star weak foot in the middle. Dybala's obviously not that at all, but for me... He's probably my best attacker, so it's nice having him in the middle. His finesse shot's crazy, it's just not as good when he can't go both ways. But if you have a five-star weak foot player like Neymar, you're going to have really good finesse uh, shot options outside the box. And then the striker, he's obviously going to get chances in finesse shots. Um, generally speaking, for this formation, the fullbacks don't need to attack too much. In some formations, you need the whip from the fullbacks, but in this, you can put them on stay back. I'll go through my instructions. For the centre-backs, just standard centre-backs, CDMs, in God squads, you'll have CDMs who generally can do a bit of everything, unless it's like a Vieira, who is just the out-and-out -out best destroyer midfielder. You want at least one of these midfielders, though, who's good on the ball for me, that's Zielinski. And then, like I said, the cabs, there's so many good finesse options you're going to get with these guys. The biggest weakness, I would say, with the 4-2-3-1 is that you're not going to have two strikers to link up with. But on this year's game, I don't think that seems quite central right now. This could change a bit if the finesse shots get nerfed, which I do think there's a good chance of that, but that might not happen. It could be a while till it happens. But for now, I think the 4 2 3 one is right up there with the best formations in the game. And I'm going to explain my tactics for it. On my tactic, because of how hard it is to break people down in the box, I'm trying to get lots of people in the box, which basically means that if they get to a box, I'm going to have loads of players there. And if they can get past my um, defence, then they're going to struggle anyway to get past the keeper. But it's going to be really hard to get past my defence when they're so compact and so deep because the blocks, the defensive AI are really good on this game. I don't think when you've got the lab and rab on come back on defence, which you'll see, you want the whip to be too high. You want all the players in the middle with the lab and rab kind of protecting the outside, uh, the outside and then your defenders being more narrow. I lower the depth to just protect my box a lot more. The weakness here is that you will have to cover the passing lanes with your CDMs. Make sure you use second man press. Don't give up easy finesse shots or you will... If you just keep letting people spam finesse shots, you are going to struggle with that. That is probably the main issue with this form of defending you're going to have. Um, for, balance, for the defensive start, I'm going balanced because effectively, I think drop back is too hard to press the finesse shots. And in the 4 2 3 one, I don't think it's an aggressive tactic that really needs any of the press ones. I'm going to release more aggressive attacking tactics in the next few weeks, but for now, this is a really solid tactic that I think is going to get fairly consistent results. I've played like 30, 40 games with rivals. This found it works well. Um, it's probably been my most consistent tactic as well. And at the start of the game, getting some consistency is key. For my build-up play, we are going balanced. Chance creation balanced. I need to experiment more with some of the other tactics. Obviously, the game's been out a week since EA play. Um, on my... Another formation tactic I'm working on the moment. I quite like um, long ball, but for now, balance, balance, as it has been for the last few years, it's still working really well for me. So I'm going with that for now. 
in the four, two, three, one, you don't want the width to be too high in my opinion, because then you don't have enough options in the middle. Players in box right now, when you want more finesse shots, you're gonna have it low. You might even put it lower. You might want more chances to hit finesse shots. Corners free kicks, honestly, it doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. For the instructions, we're going to stay central, stay forward on the striker. A lot of people put getting behind, but I really do think this quite limits your attack if you have a striker on getting behind in the general one. In a counter-attacking formation, or a pressing one where you want to win the ball back and instantly go at them, I would say you could put getting behind, but in a general more balanced tactic, I don't think getting behind works quite as effectively. Simply put, when you put getting behind, it tends to be the only run they make. In mixed attack, you can tell them to get in behind with the L1 trigger um, to trigger a run. And it allows you just more variety in the attack. I put them on stay forward so he doesn't waste stamina tracking back. And it at least gives me a focal point. This is one of the things I like on FIFA 22. More players are usable. Having a big target man on stay forward, <clears throat> it's got, like a mobile, it's going to allow you to retain possession and get out the press a lot more. For the camp, I've got him on comeback on defense. I've got him on free row. I like it. It seems to give him a little bit more space. I always used to go stick to position. I find free row, especially with higher rate attacks that have good movement, works really well this year. Try that out, see what you think. I go comeback on defense on the two outside um, cams. If there was a cut inside, like left mid, right mid, left wing or right wing, I would do that. But for now, this is all we've got. I'd go comeback on defense. For the CDMs, I've just put balance, balance. You could, if you wanted, on the more defensive one, put stay back. I like to have balance, balance. But if you're struggling getting um, counter-attacked a bit, you might want to put the better defender, so Kessie in this team, on stay back. Maybe even cut passing lines. But for me, this is working quite well. You could experiment a bit, mix it up. For the centre-backs, I've got step up on both right now. But I would probably only go step up on one. Step up, basic for me, I would put the better physical one not on step up because the better physical one is a bit like on Football Manager where you have a cover and a stopper. Step up effectively, and I'll do a video on this next week probably, it's a new defensive position thing you can put centre-backs. It, it makes the centre-back get tighter and push more aggressively onto attackers. It's a pretty good way of stopping finesse shots. <clears throat> but what I would say is when I've had two centre-backs on step up, it leaves me a bit vulnerable to just one, two passing through balls in behind. So I like to have one centre back on it who's more aggressive, tries to stop the finesse shot. It's a good counter to the finesse shot. And then the better physical one. So in this one, Cooler Bally and Screen are at a pretty similar pace, but um, Cooler Bally is stronger to deal with players when they're getting behind. When the one's not a step up, it allows him to cover through balls better. The other one to be more aggressive. And honestly, sometimes you will win the ball just by their step-up movement, and it catches people up. But I've not seen anyone else using it, I don't think. For me, it's a really nice little technique you can use to catch people out, so experiment with that. And then, <clears throat> on the full-backs, stay back while attacking, very standard. If you want to be more attacking, you can go balance, attack, and maybe overlap on the run type. I tried inverted, but it just didn't seem to work for me. And then, for the keeper, I would go comes for crosses and sweep keeper. There's not really a time you don't want the keeper to come for a cross. And sweeper keeper never really seems to fail in the sense of catch you out. It just gives them more chance of sweeping up a through ball. Those are the tactics. Like I say, in the next week when I get home, to start recording more of my gameplay. I will start editing gameplay footage and showing you in game on the tactics. I'll be streaming over at my Twitch, Zalonius92, regularly every day. You can come see me play games live, ask me questions. Hope you've enjoyed these tactics. Appreciate your support as always. Keep it spicy.